my brand fishing statement would be Mirage. It's going to help with weekend adventurers who live in our test market, which is Durango, Colorado. And we're offering a bottle of water that has energy boosting vitamins and minerals infused with the spring water itself. That is a green, easy grip bottle, and our brand uh, connects to our customers. Um, to elaborate on that, we chose Durango, Colorado because it has a lot of tourists flowing in and out um, to see the nearby like, natural brilliance um, of the forest and the mountains near it. And um, also a lot of people live there who go out and on the weekends go and hike and see what's out there. And the definition of a weekend adventure would be somebody who works that 9 to 5 job every week, but then on those weekends likes to let loose and go and see what's around them. And then um, for our marketing mix strategy, we would like to sell this for about $2.50 a bottle because our bottle itself has a lot of added features to it, so it's kind of expensive to make. But $2.50 is an affordable price for those flowing in and out. And then we'd like to sell these in like sporting goods stores or um, gas stations, camping stores. Camp ranger stations would also be a big place in grocery stores. And we want to inform and persuade these people using commercials on programs like Survivor or The Amazing Race and on channels like um, the Travel Channel and on ads on Facebook and things like that so we can connect with our customers. And to start off, um, we would start making and bottling our, our uh, product as soon as we could. And we would launch this in spring or summer of 2014 because if you launch this in the winter, people aren't going to go out and see and do and the water is just going to freeze, so that's kind of stupid. And then um, we would collect this water from the property, but we would not package and process this water on the property itself um, because, I mean, it's the person's private property and that's just disrespectful. And then in the future, um, depending on feedback, we could launch a flavored water or a um, energy drink. All right, the bottle shape itself is the eco-friendly green cap, which kind of displays, you know, our bottle is made out of recyclable plastic. Um, the top bubble chamber serves a purpose so the bottle doesn't, like, slide from your hand, you know, like, you're running, won't go like that. Um, it has an easy grip for those who enjoy an active lifestyle. It just kind of helps you, you know, hold on better. Um, and the bottom bubble chamber is so, like, you know, you have it in, like, a side backpack pocket, and you're running, and then it falls out, and you don't have that water. So, <laughs> so it doesn't fall out. <laughs> Yeah, like if you have a Voss water bottle and you try to put it in that side pocket of a backpack and you're moving, it's going to slide out because it's so sleek. But with our figure of our bottle, it's not going to be able to slide. And then we chose the twist off cap instead of one of those squeezy fountain caps because if you're like running and you go like this, that cap's going to fly open and you're going to lose your water. But if you have a twist off cap, that won't happen. And why people should invest in us is because we are dedicated to fixing this problem that many adventurers have. And we have planned out to achieve what we want to do with this water bottle and when we want to launch it. And we are so dedicated. And um, our investors <coughs> would harvest a pretty penny from something as big and great as this. And that's all. Talk to me a little bit about the, um, the vitamins and minerals that you guys are going to add into this. They would be all natural energy boosting things that are <coughs> kind of like electrolytes that are found in like Gatorade and other energy boosting drinks. Um, how, how big of a market do you feel that there is for those kind of products? I feel like this has a huge market because so many people like to get up and go. There's scouting, there's like canoeing clubs, there's everything. There's so many people who like to get up and go outside and do what they want to do and they need a water bottle that's not going to mess them up. Um, how do you envision if, having, if we have success in this kind of test area expanding and growing from this point? Well, we would like to, as I said before, either make like a flavored water because sometimes, you know, people just want that taste. Like I know sometimes I just crave juice. I don't want water, I want right. juice. And um, we could also do a line of like natural energy drinks, not like a Red Bull, but more of like a, well, there's not really a natural energy drink out there right now. So then we could create that and create a new market for something like that. How about uh, geographically expanding? Where do you I was thinking like surrounding areas around Colorado and maybe extending to some other areas where people are active and there's like, you know, sites to see things to do, you know, you know state parks that are bigger like around the fields. Okay. Alright, good job girl. Thanks.